Hi everyone, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. The story I've chosen today is called The Dark by Lemony Snicket and it's illustrated by John Classen. I really like this book because when I was little I used to be scared of the dark and this is a story about a little boy called Laszlo who's also scared of the dark. There's Laszlo. Laszlo was afraid of the dark. The dark lived in the same house as Laszlo. It was a big place with a creaky roof, smooth cold windows and several flights of stairs. Sometimes the dark hid in the cupboard. Sometimes it hid behind the shower curtain. But mostly it spent its time in the basement. All day long, the dark would wait in a distant corner, far from the squeaks and rattles of the washing machine, pressed up against some old damp boxes and a chest of drawers that nobody ever opened. At night, of course, the dark went out and spread itself against the windows and doors of Laszlo's house. But in the morning, the dark would be back in the basement where it belonged and Laszlo would peek at the dark every morning. Hi, he said. Hi, dark. Laszlo thought that if he visited the dark in Dark's room, maybe the dark wouldn't come and visit him in his room. But one night, it did. Laszlo, the dark said in the dark. The voice of the dark was as creaky as the roof of the house and as smooth and cold as the windows. And even though the dark was right next to Laszlo, it sounded far away. What do you want? asked Laszlo. I want to show you something, said the dark. In here? No, said the dark. Here. No, no, said the dark. Downstairs. Downstairs. Yes, said the dark. There's Laszlo going downstairs with his torch. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do that in the dark, but he is. In Laszlo's living room was the biggest window in the house. Laszlo looked out at all the dark outside. Above him the roof creaked and he closed his eyes. Now the dark was all Laszlo could see. No, no, said the dark again, not there. Down here. Would you go down there? Hmm, I wonder if Laszlo will. He's quite brave. I think he might. In the basement, asked Laszlo. Yes, said the dark. Laszlo had never dared come to the dark's room at night. Come closer, said the dark. Laszlo came even closer. Even closer, said the dark. You might be afraid of the dark, but the dark is not afraid of you. That's why the dark is always close by. The dark peeks round the corner and waits below the door and you can see the dark up in the sky almost every night, gazing down at you as you gaze up, up at the stars. Without a creaky roof, the rain would fall on your head. Without a smooth, cold window, you could never see outside. And without a flight of stairs, you could never go into the basement where the dark spends its time. Without a cupboard, you would have nowhere to put your shoes. And without a shower curtain, you would splash water all over the bathroom. And without the dark, everything would be light, and you would never know if you needed a light bulb. Bottom drawer, said the dark. What? asked Laszlo. Bottom drawer, said the dark. Open the bottom drawer. And in, what's in the bottom drawer? It's a light bulb. Thank you, said Laszlo. You're welcome, said the dark. 
By the time Laszlo got back into bed, the dark was no longer in his room, except when he closed his eyes to go to sleep. The next morning, Laszlo visited the dark in the basement. Hi, he said. Hi, dark. The dark didn't answer, but the bottom drawer was still open, so it looked like something was in the corner smiling. The dark kept on living in Laszlo's house, but it never bothered him again. I really love how, in the end, the dark turned out to be friendly and Laszlo wasn't afraid anymore. 